Games. Hey, hey. Today we at Gold's Gym over here. About to hit the chest and triceps and just a little bit of abs like I always do every workout or every other workout. With my man today again, Mr. Kelbo, Mr. Boxer. <clears throat> about to do chest tribe today. Crofton, Gold's Gym. Just another day. Get on, good workout. Let's get on up in goals Jim. started today off heavy on the decline bench press which was the first exercise that was done today of uh 225 here but um did two uh warm-up sets uh of um shoot what did i do once 135 did two warm-up sets of 135 bust that out um for 12 reps each time then I did the 225 for two sets, and then I did 230 for my last set. The first time Mr. Kelvin here was on the decline bench press in his life. Did pretty good, pushing out the 135 for a few reps. Um, this is when I say here yeah, I took up the 2.5 on each side to equal 230. I was able to get this jump four times. Um, I don't know, my muscle just, my muscle just kind of gave out. It don't, it don't look as difficult as it would do, but no worries because chest day wasn't over. So move right along to the incline chest rise. Now this rep range, there are three sets here, 12 reps um, each set. Uh, rep in the, it was those 35 pound weights. Now everybody know I'm a stickler when it comes to lifting heavy and getting about your form. So just make sure you're going heavy in order to keep that form. When you're doing these flies, when you pull it back, you work right there with that little part right there. When you pull it back, make sure you're getting a stretch in that upper chest. Try for the whole chest. It's an incline movement, so the focus is on the upper chest and squeeze your chest at the top. Make sure you squeeze that chest at the top and make sure you get the maximum gains out of this movement here for the upper chest. Like I say, incline movement, so it's upper chest. However, you, you know, you, you're still getting that full chest workout. It's just the emphasis is more on the upper part of the chest. Moving right along to the hammer strength hammer press. I only did two sets on this machine here due to the fact that I'm going to move over to the machine right beside it, which is a hammer press um, or hammer strength chest press machine as well. This one that I'm on right now is just more of a decline, and the one uh, that I'm going to move to after is just more of a flat. So this is more for that, for the emphasis, you know, like, like I said, it's still a full chest movement. However, that emphasis on that little part of the chest because you want to hit all muscles from different angles and such. So we wrap up with our two sets and then like I said, move it on over <laughs> and it's time to superset. So as you can see, I got one arm. You see I'm twisting and turning that chest along with the head to make sure the whole uh, form is right, the whole movement is right. But I'm going to bust that out eight times and I'm going to switch to the other arm and do the exact same thing on the other side with the other arm. I'm going to bust this out eight times and then I'm going to take no more than probably like a three second break. I'm going to go right into pressing them both at the same time and this I'm going to try to get 12 reps. It's a super set so you know 12 reps is the minimum but if you got a little bit more energy then just go ahead and go to failure due to the fact that it's a super set and it ain't that easy so if you think you want to just jump up and do 2025 because I said to feel you, you're wrong because I guarantee it's going to burn you out. So next time you're in the gym, try this super set on the hammer press, chest press, flat. I don't know. On you see the machine, the hammer press um, machine. So, Kelbo doing the same exact super set. And watch, you see how the head turn, how to making sure that whole movement stay correct, making sure that form is right. And then go ahead and bust that out eight times with that left arm. And then go ahead and move it on back. Like I said, no, no rest. No more than three seconds, I would say. We went right into it. And just press that. Excuse me. Press that one out to fail. So, right after this is done here, we're going to go to the next exercise. The next exercise, this exercise we got on this machine that we did. Some flies. Now I really, really like. You know, I'm I'm not a machine fan, 
But I really, really like when chest day to get on this machine right here and really, 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 really push that chest out. He did three sets of those over there to uh, 12 reps. Um, the cable crossovers, go ahead and jump jump on them cables. We about to bust out some cable crossovers. Now we wanna do cable crossovers going down just like this. We're gonna go for 12 reps and then we're gonna switch it on over to the bottom. Let's see if, if we're gonna get a clip of next. I believe, yeah, so this is me finishing out my uh, cable crossovers. Now just make sure you, when you're going back, you're making sure you're getting that stretch in the chest and make sure you're using you know your chest to squeeze that thing down to the bottom don't just you know move your arm put your chest into that movement and go ahead and bust out 12 reps now we're going to flip over to the downward and we're going to raise up so this is not i couldn't say cable crossover because you see i'm not crossing over i'm just hitting that chest from the bottom on up getting that tight squeeze at the top and getting that stretch at the bottom to uh, make that chest get some more gains, get some more development out of there. Because like I said a few moments ago, you want to hit these muscles from all different types of angles. You want to tear these fibers down so they can rebuild just everywhere. When they rebuild, they grow back bigger, stronger, and better. And that's what we call gains. Came over and did some dips here. Now, I'm, I, I'm, I only did dips. I did two sets of 12 with the dips. I did one warm-up set, though, so let's say three, um, with no weight on it, and I just dropped the 45 to my waist and just bust out the dips here. Notice how, notice the degree I'm going there. I'm not going all the way down with the dips. Right back to, uh, I call these tricep kickback because you just want to grab that weight and kick that tricep back and squeeze it at the top to get some gains out of that tricep. You know, Kelvin doing the same thing here. It's like a, it's, it's like a hammer curl, but you know, it's, it's focusing strictly on that tricep because you're just raising the weight up just because, just to complete the movement. You're putting all the strength. You're not letting that weight fall back. You pushing that weight back and until it, you know, until your tricep is on top and then you're getting a good squeeze out of that. Now these triceps extensions right here, seated with the dumbbell. Um, Kelvin did two sets here. I didn't do these, my range of motion is, 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 is really getting messed up in this little body with all these gains. So I wasn't able to do my sets right there, but I was able to hit these close grip uh, bench presses in order to focus. Now you're probably only using like 10 to 20% chest on this movement, even though it's a bench press. But you're, this is this is this is for the triceps. When you're doing it close like this, them triceps are working, and it's not a burn, uh, ladies and gentlemen. It is pain when you're hitting those close grips, and that pain is a real good feeling because behind that, that, that pain, that left you know <clears throat> you' about to make some gain. Exactly. So Kelvin doing the uh, close grip triceps here. We did. I think we did two sets. We did two sets, and then we moved over to these type of tricep extensions with the curl bars. We did uh, two sets of 12 here also. Uh, make sure, you know, just make sure you're using that tricep. This can easily uh, yep. be turned into a shoulder press if you're not using your tricep in this movement. So make sure that arm is going backwards and you're pushing that arm back up. And when you do that, you know, when, you, when, when that elbow is bent like that, you have no other option but to use the tricep when you're pushing it up. Right to the cable, now notice there's no extension on this cable, no extension, just grab the cable and bang out some tricep extensions. Do both sides, 12 reps we did here. We did two sets of 12 right here. So here goes Kelvin's set. Um, so like I said, no extension on this, just grab that cable and just make sure you pushing that tricep down both sides for 12 reps so make sure you got the weight somewhere that you can control so we couldn't find this rope when you get big enough my brother just give you equipment i said hey can i get that rope he said hey it's all of you man but guess what got the rope <laughs> <laughs> now we're going to put that extension there we're going to put that rope on there and we're going to do some tricep Push downs. I believe this closed out. The, I, I believe this closed out day out. Let me do some ads after this. We do some tricep push down and make sure you make that weight jaw uh, heavy because this is we do a two sets of 
and it's your last, so make it count. So as you can see, the struggle. Look at the struggle, and but look at them gains. Look at them damn gains. Look at look at how the chest is already pumping and get. Look at them traps and delts and them, and, and them, and them triceps and, and them bicep. Oh, that boy made some royal gains. Now we're gonna go ahead and just bust out um, the 25. I did 25 here. I think Kelvin did like 30, 40 of these here. Um, when you're doing abs, just knock it out. Don't worry about it. Um, when you're doing abs, just don't work abs for more than five minutes, I say. Just knock out whatever abs exercise you want to do. And then we came over here and hopped and did some sit-ups. Don't notice I'm doing half of a sit-up and then doing one back and doing the whole sit-up. And I count that as one rep. Um, Kelvin did the same thing. We did one set of these here also and then we got on the ab roller machine and this is what i believe is like a real 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 hidden secret in the gym is this ab coaster right here my core has gotten so strong and just doing this this exercise to like four or five times a week is really really how my six pack got there now getting the protein and i think that was a real good workout man we uh we had, we had like four or five chest exercises. We had more than that? Yeah, we had way more than that. We had, okay, we had a few chest exercises. Um, I know we had a lot of sets, um, a lot of reps today. We went we went jaw heavy. Both of us went jaw heavy. Triceps was cool. We went heavy on triceps too, real heavy. Today was a nice, heavy day, but we still got good volume and everything. Uh, we think abs was real good. We hit one set, um, we hit 20. Yeah, I think it's 20 or 30. 20 or 30 on 20 the, 30 the or 40, rest. I think. Yeah, 40. He, we did three different ab exercises, just one set, but we, we did it high rep. I think today was a real good workout. And that concludes today's episode of Royal Games.